Lee, what's uh, the key to shutting down the Oilers tonight? Yeah, obviously, great team. Um, it'll be a fun game. I think I mean, whoever controls the neutral zone, I think, will be, will be the better team today. What have you thought of the way Zach is performing, in particular this season? Yeah, it's been incredible. I mean, seeing him get uh, get his hat tricks, it's been uh, it's been lots of fun seeing him having great success there in Edmonton. I mean, as a friend and um, yeah, so it's just it'll be fun to play play against him tonight too. I mean, he's two two from fifty, so not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> could, could you see that potential in him at some level when he was still here? I mean, there's only so many goals to go around on this team already with all the offense you guys have. So. Yeah, I mean he. He's, I mean, the one of the hardest working guys I've ever met, and I mean, dedicated, and um, I mean, it's just an example of hard work, just really paying off. Um, and I mean, we obviously saw that he had potential, um, and now it's just nice to see that it's happening for him. What have you William the chance to go up against McDavid, Drysital, kind of a showpiece kind of game? Yeah, obviously it's very fun whenever we play play these guys. Um, great games, I feel like when we play them. So. Uh, yeah, today will be fun. Why do you think the neutral zone is so important? Well, I think that's where a lot of speed is going to be created and stuff getting through and uh, into the ozone and and uh, I mean shutting down some uh, offense. How much how much do you look at the standings around you and just sort of wonder who you're going to ma- play in the first round or something like that? Too? I haven't really looked at the standings uh, as of late, so um, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny sometimes when two high power offensive teams meet, they actually end up with a two one game, and I don't know if it's because both teams are so conscious of the other team's firepower that you're really focused on that, that side of the puck. I mean, when you, you know, why do you think that happens sometimes? Yeah, I think that could be the case where you're just so focused on playing hard and structured defensively that, uh, I mean, your focus maybe comes away a little bit from the offensive side of the game, which, I mean, could happen when you, when you play like that. What did you like about the team's performance in Washington? Yeah, I thought we came out, I mean, got a goal early versus the Giving one up, I think, was great. <laughs> was Rasmus a little frustrated? You got him again, right? This you score, and he's right there. Uh, yeah. I mean, but it was just nice to see him after the game. I haven't seen him in a while. I mean, last time we played him was here, right? Or oh. no, there a, a while ago. But they come back here, so it was yeah, it was nice to see him. What was it like for you to see him get his his contract kind of secure that? This yeah, I like like super happy for him, and I mean. I know what it's like to be in that situation too. So I mean, whenever that's done, it's a nice relief and focus on just uh, just playing hockey. How does uh, Max change the dynamic on on the power play? He's with your unit tonight. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we played with him this year, so I think it'll be a, a nice different look for for the for their team to try to figure out our situation. I mean, obviously a tremendous passer, so uh, it'll be lots of fun. Thanks, guys. Kid, what's it like to go up against the Oilers? I think uh, it's cool. Uh, played them, played them this year uh, at their home rink, and that was cool. Had a lot of family and friends there, so I'm sure all those family and friends will be watching. So it'll be, it'll be a cool one. Were they your team when you were growing up? Yeah, yeah, favorite team. Um, Alish Hemsky fan. Watched, watched the 06 Cup run. I think it was Grade Six, and that was, that was one of the coolest things. So yeah. it is always cool to play against. Them. What was it like to see McDavid up close in that game? Go up against him? Anything pop uh, that you didn't maybe know before? Uh, I mean, you kind of you, kn- you know about him. You know enough about him that he's fast, and and you've got to be on top of him and stay stay in front of him in the neutral zone, so you can't build up speed. And, and you just saw it firsthand and how fast he is and how skilled he is, and just try and get in his way. I know we're talking about being like a fan too for these kind of showpiece games. We talked to you about Ovechkin versus Matthews the other day. What's it like to be in a game like this where there's star so much star power? Yeah, it's cool. I think uh, there's more eyes on the game. There's more people watching, and it makes it that much bigger of a game, and especially because. Both teams are, are vying for a good playoff position, so um, I think it'll be it'll be a great competition, and it's it's cool to see. What do you like about where the team's at heading into this game, coming off the game in Washington? I think it was a great response. Um, obviously, uh, that Philly game wasn't our best, and and they came out hard, and um, we just we just wanted to come back hard uh, against the Washington game and, and keep things rolling because you got to put those ones behind you and and look forward to the next. And I think that's what we're doing, and I'm really happy with how we we played in that game and responded every time they scored. So. I think that's that's something that look we can look forward to. What was your favorite fan moment growing up? Uh, I don't know. That's a I think I think Eberle's, uh first goal. That was a cool one. Um, watching the Oilers, that was a that was pretty sweet. I, I look back at it now and I can't believe that was his first goal. Like what a what a first one to score. So 
Um, I just remember uh, watching that game and seeing the crowd just erupt from that one. That was cool. Uh, I went, yeah, I went to a few. I remember the one that I went to was against San Jose. Um, I remember seeing how big Joe Thornton was, and that was cool. Um, and that was just like, I was like, that's an NHL right there. He just has the look. He has the, like the style and everything, and that was that was cool to see. So um, watching your, watching Alex Hemsky and all, all those guys play against against the big stars like Jumbo, that was cool. Right now, but what do you make of your hockey luck at the moment? Uh, yeah, every time uh, I FaceTime her, she's like, Oh, your eye, or all oh, I can worry about. It. I'm like, It's fine, it looks way worse than it is. The first time you, you've seen these guys, but I'm curious that first time you, you see McDavid up close, like what, what pops to you? Yeah, just his speed, um, his ability to create offense uh, out, of, out of nothing, and, and his work ethic. I think he's an incredible player, and it's pretty hard to stop. So it's a, it's a challenge that we're, I think our team has to be up for, and um, you know, and limit his chances. What's it like to be a part of this game just in general as a young guy? So much star power on either side. What's it like to be a part of this? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, obviously, we played played Washington and Ovechkin uh, the other night, and, and now McDavid and, and Dreisaitl and, uh, you know, and all the star players they have. It's uh, it's another challenge, but I think we just got to be ready for it and, and kind of focus on what's in this room. And, um, you know, I, th I think everyone's going to be up for it. And I think uh, we're going to do a good job of, uh, you know, playing defensively and, uh, you know, trying to control the game. He's been so much of the season with Austin. What have you noticed about how he elevates in these kind of moments where there's the, the showdown of the top guys? Yeah, I think he plays his best when it matters most. Um, he's been a, a great leader so far for us and a great example for when, when games get hard that he kind of steps up and um, changes the momentum for us. So I, I don't know what Tyler's status is, but being on that line with Austin and Max yesterday, you obviously played with Moss, Austin. What's tense about, about Max and what he can bring kind of to the unit? I think his playmaking ability, you know, I think he can kind of find a pass um, in any scenario, in any situation. And um, I think he's a he's a gritty player, too. I think he's not afraid to play in the corners and uh, play against, uh, you know, their toughest and biggest guys. So he's a uh, he's a value attribute to that line. How would you assess his ability to kind of sauce the, the puck, I guess? Like he's a great playmaker just in general, but it feels like that aspect of it is on another level. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you see him do it a lot. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's pretty good at it. I'm sure he's practiced a lot, and uh, it seems to come off his stick just a little better than, than it does for me. So um, yeah, it's, he's uh, he's really good at that. Do you pick his brain at all and see if he gets? <laughs> I mean, I don't really ask him about it, but I, I definitely uh, admire it and I uh, try to mimic it as much as possible. How, how important are games like this for you guys down the stretch? It kind of get in that playoff mode. Uh, really important. You know, we want to be playing our best hockey uh, before playoffs. So I think that this is a good start for us and. Uh, he just kind of want to keep this rolling so that when playoff comes, I think we're, we're already in that uh, kind of mode, if you if you want to say. How did you feel coming back? Yeah, I, uh, I think I felt pretty good. Obviously, the adrenaline carries you that first game back. Um, but overall, it was a, a good game, and the team played well, so it was easy for me. How did you stay sharp during the time away? Um, just continued to work hard, put in a lot of work in the gym, and worked with our skills, skills coaches and tried to make the most of my practice reps. That's all you can do, really. What was your sense of, of anticipation to get back? Like, what's it feel like to, to be back part of this? Yeah, I was just really excited, obviously. The team's been doing well since uh, I've been gone, and um, to be a part of something like this is always really special, and um, I never take it for granted, so it was great. What's it mean to be a part of a game like this? So much star power on either side. Yeah, it's going to be a, a challenge. I think uh, the whole team's going to have to be really dialed in, especially defensively, and um, it's just cool to be a part of something like this. Stands out the most about McDavid and the challenge of slowing him down. Yeah, obviously, just the speed and not only what she skates, but what she plays the game at. Um, you have to be tight on him and not give him an inch and defend in layers. So I think it's going to be a, a good challenge for us. What's the feel like with Benoit? Yeah, I love playing with Benny. Um, we have a good relationship on and off the ice, and um, he plays really strong defensively and uh, moves the puck well. So it's uh, great playing with him. What stood out to you about Austin and, and Max in that game and, and watching the connection they had and just what they did? Yeah, that was really special. Just the way they read off each other and um, the way they were making plays and getting pucks to the net. Um, I think they have that capability to do stuff like that every game, but just the way it hit that game was uh, cool to see. What do you think a game like tonight means for the team? Like you're trying to ramp up for the playoffs. Like what, what can tonight do for you guys? Yeah, it's a good test. Uh, we want to dial in our, our defensive systems and and uh, be a tough team to play against. And I think this team provides a good challenge for us. So um, it's going to be it's going to be a good one for us. When you're off as long as you do, you get the, you know, it's important to get the touch back with the puck control and all that. 
Is that the thing you fear that you have the most in terms of coming back and feeling comfortable handling the puck? I think I put in so much work with our, our skills coaches. And uh, like I said, I really dialed in my practice reps, really made sure I made the most of every rep. So I felt pretty uh, comfortable with that last game. When it first happened, this last thing that you had to deal with, like, were you like, what is going on here? Like, I can't get you. Like, we, we know you're bad luck. Like, what was your initial reaction? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, definitely a tough one to go through, especially the timing of it um, with, with some opportunity on the back end. But, um, I mean, there's not much you can do. Obviously, life's going to throw some tough bounces at you, and you just got to roll with them and keep working hard. Shoulder, what's the, uh, the outlook for Bertuzzi? I uh, was here today, so obviously feeling uh, feeling better, but he's uh, not a sure thing for tonight. He'll be a game time decision. Uh, he's he's got to continue to to, to uh, get better throughout the day. Factoring the fact he wasn't on the ice yesterday, Sheldon, with the rest of the guys. Uh, this will be Bert's call. If he's if this will be Bert's call. If he's if he feels he's ready to go, he'll 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 be in. He's right now. He's not loving how he's how he's feeling. So we'll uh, just see how he is through the day, and we'll do what they can to to get him up to speed. Obviously, keeping in mind we do play tomorrow as well, so that that may be a factor too. What's the biggest challenge tonight? Uh, slowing down the Oilers. Challenges are obvious. You don't even need me to answer the question. Like, what do you think about where Himes is taking this game and closing in at fifty goals? Oh, well, Himes is. When I was with the Marlies, we called him Shaq Hyman for a reason because he he, he got to the paint more and better than anybody. Um, and now he's playing with the guy that gets the puck to the paint and tilts the ice more than anybody maybe in the history of the game. So um, it's it's a good fit, and, and he works to get to the right places, and uh, he's getting rewarded for it. Where are you with Grigard on the draft of the series? Obviously, Connor Brown fell a bit last year and moved to a little first of the year this year. When you approach him, what do you think of him lately and about how he thinks about this team? A uh, tremendous teammate. Uh, great character about him, works extremely hard, and uh, does a lot of little things extremely well that uh, don't show up in the staff, which is why I suspect they've stayed with him and given him opportunities to continue in the lineup and be a part of the team. And, and in a little bit that I've watched throughout the year, he looks like he's just focusing on doing those things that uh, don't show up on the sheet. He does, does that very well, so a lot of respect for his game. It's a while since you played these guys, but in Edmonton, you guys had the lead, and... Uh, obviously, they came back, but how much are you a different team now than a few weeks ago and how much going on? Well, we'll see. I mean, the last time we were in this building, I don't think it, I think it was pretty reminiscent, uh, you know, in terms of in terms of what you're talking about. Um, you know, but we feel like there's other areas of our game that are in, uh, in far better order. And uh, we were in a good spot in that game. We, we There's a lot of things we did well in that game that uh, set us up for success and some things we didn't do quite so well and we hung on and got good goaltending and all those sorts of things. But I think both teams are in a different spot here now. It's been a couple months since we've seen them and, and, uh, you know, they were rolling extremely well then. They're rolling extremely well now. Uh, You know, but we'll we'll just, we know what we got to be aware of. Uh, It's obvious when you're playing them and, and, uh, you know, the things that are important to us that we've been really chatting a lot about, we're going to have to be really good in those areas tonight. What sort of potential do you see for the Riley McCabe pair and how they might be able to work together moving forward here? Yeah, I mean, there's, well, you know, we've been hesitant to put them together um, <clears throat> throughout the season just because there's there's a lot of similarities in their game. Obviously, Morgan is much more offensive and all those sorts of things, but they both skate really well. They both... Uh, their their skating and their feet take them to take them to to, to different spots on the ice that um, sort of in my mind kind of counter what each of them do, which why I've never really seen them as much of a uh, candidates to be a good pair. They got to be really smart with how they play because both their feet, as I say, they take them to good offensive places, and there's good rewards that come with that. But when it goes bad, it can go it can go real bad. Uh, so they've got to be really locked in on how they move and how they read off of one another. Uh, so that's that's part of it. But uh, uh, when it comes to the defending uh, piece of it, Gaber's done a really good job for us and, and is physical. Uh, he rises to the puck in a bad mood and and, and uh, creates loose pucks and 
Morgan can come in and support and scoop those up and, and get going, or uh, whether it's our low forward that wins the battle and gets the breakout going can allow Morgan to, to get to get to going the other way. So one of the positives defensively is because of how uh, Jake closes fast and physical, uh, it creates loose pucks that get us on offense quickly, which helps Morgan in transition. Sheldon was a better group, and you know when you zoom out a little bit, do you like what you've seen the last 15, 20 games in terms of a slow build and where you want to be when the game's really you know when it's up? Yeah, I think we've seen lots of lots of lots of encouraging signs from our team, both in how we've played as collectively as a group and, and in individually. You know, uh, different players have really taken big steps for us. Whether it's some of our first year guys that we have uh, on forward this year, uh, Bobby McMahon comes to mind. Has taken a huge step, and then just our others. Uh, you know, um, Camper's playing better. Uh, Bertuzzi and Domi have, are you know are in a really nice groove uh, right now. So all of these things have really come together for us. Uh, Dewar has arrived and has given us good minutes at a time when we really need it here with with uh, Marner and Yarncroft being out. So all those sorts of things uh, we've liked. I mean, there's times we've we've slept a little bit uh, for sure, but uh, as you say, if we were to zoom out in the last 20 games or so, I think you know, we, we like a lot of things that we're doing. We're trending in the right direction. Our special teams have got to continue to to get locked in, and that's an area of focus for us for sure. Sheldon, is there not oh, Okay, that's going to be a good one. <laughs> uh, there's, there's been a lot of chatter in this market about who your playoff starter and role will be, and I know that's far off, but what I'm getting to is the changing philosophy for some coaches in this league. You know, it used to be if you went away from your playoff starter goal, then it was a panic move. But you saw Boston lose both their guys last year. Vegas forcibly went to their second guy. Where's your philosophy at right now in terms of having a comfort level in both guys and not necessarily game one means everything? Yeah, I, I mean, like you say, there's a long ways to, to go here still and lots, lots of things can, can and likely will happen. Uh, and that's the way it's sort of been for us yeah, this season and I guess even last season uh, in, in that sense. But uh, we definitely have confidence in our guys, and I would even you know, put Martin Jones in that conversation as you know the most veteran guy that we have here right now and and has played very well for us at, at, at critical times when we needed him uh, this season. Um, <clears throat> but certainly Samsonoff is playing his best hockey right now. Uh, Waller's finding his way back, and obviously we've got – Great belief in him, and he got some experience in the playoffs last year for us too. So, yeah, we've got we've got good confidence there. We'll make those decisions when when we need to. Right now, it's just a matter of you know uh, sort of responding to what the schedule brings and making our decisions based on a the schedule and b what's happening with the goalies individually. And this week is somewhat an easy one with two back to backs, but uh, you know going forward. Both guys, you know, I think in the end you'll end up seeing that it's probably going to equal out, you know, in the remaining games that they'll play about, they're both the same, whether it's, you know, alternating or two here, two there. Um, you know, I, as I've looked at it and tried to map it out, I, that's sort of how I, how I see it. I don't see it going any differently than that.